How's it going, guys? My name's SK, and today we're on the Bluecraft server. I know what you guys might be saying. This does not look like the Bluecraft house I've always been on. Well, it's it's not. There was another reset, which is... I You know, I don't really know what to say about that. I wasn't really hoping for it. We actually did a poll, and I voted against it. But uh, I guess the majority of people wanted a reset. They just weren't happy with the world and with the new update. Everything just fell together. So yeah, there's been a reset. And we lost our old base. But I'm not really too too sad about it. Because we didn't have a whole lot in that world. I don't know. I'm just going to continue the series where I left off at episode 3. So this will be 4. And yeah. So let me show you what I have so far. It's that. I have the staircase and that little bit that you saw. I really haven't done a whole lot. I've been mining for days. As you can see, ton, almost two sacks of iron, full set of iron tools and armor. Uh, there's a lot of iron around here. Carson Icebox came to my house and... Not my house house in like in real life, but he came here and he just wanted to cave some. And we found this ravine. And we just went at it, and there's a lot of iron. See, like, right there, some more. So, I don't know. It is what it is, and got a lot of iron from it. What we really need is a farm. I'm pretty set on food. I got 30 steak, because there's there are a ton of cows around here. And I recently came back from spawn by way of just walking, because we don't have really a nether set up yet. But uh, I just kind of came through there and killed a lot of cows on the way, because there were tons. Tons of them. I think they upped the spawning rates of cows in 1.6. Before I run out of carrots or these 40 potatoes that are in here, I want to plant a bunch of them. The reason I have an iron door is because zombies will bust these things down on in, like crazy and hard. We're playing on hard difficulty, and they just tear through the doors. It's it's ridiculous. So I needed something to stall them, and an iron door seemed pretty fitting. So that's that's that. I like that better. Okay. So what I need to do is make a farm for carrots, and I'm going to do that over there. So I'm gonna get over there, clear some land, and we'll think up a design. My oh my, doesn't that look a lot different? Yes it does. Lots of land cleared and this new little bridge thing. Got big plans for this bridge big plans. Extensions going each way. Arches coming along the sides. It's going to be cool. But for now, that's just an easy way to get back and forth. Alright. I got a lot of land cleared, and I like how this is looking, this area. Turn in nighttime, but we don't even care. Let's just get right to this. Actually, we kind of do care. I've got a design plan in my head. So this shouldn't really take too, too long. But for now, let's just plop a block of water down that we can base everything around. One, two, three, four. Alrighty. We'll come this way. And how about... I think it's something like this. How far is that away? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a creeper. Get away from me. Alright, that's better. Okay. This is going to be just a basic design, but I think it's going to turn out looking pretty nice. How many blocks? That's one, two, three. One, two, three. No, I didn't mean to put you there. Um, yeah, getting some lag. Like I said, hopefully my computer ships okay and nothing really gets messed up about it. That would make me really sad and really angry. But I am very excited about it, as you can tell. It'll be really cool. So, it's whatever. No, don't make that many at all. We don't want that. Why am I carrying so many iron on me? That was a mistake. All right, let's just take these cobblestone walls and fill them in. This is a really basic design, but 
but I kind of like it. Maybe we'll change it up some, but it should do for for now. Sorry, sorry, sorry about the FPS lag. Okay. Oh, guys, I want to tell you a story. You all should know that I was in. Uh, it was in New York over the course of this week, and uh, yeah. So what what happened was I was at a baseball game for my cousin, and there's this little kid. I think his name his name was Reed, and he was eight years old. And he kind of came up to me, like acting all swagger and proud of himself for God knows what. And he just wouldn't like get around me. Me and my cousin, and well, my other cousin, not the one playing baseball, and one of his friends were playing. Uh, we were playing frisbee because they do that a lot there in New York. We were playing some just some frisbee, and this kid would not leave us alone. He just kept standing around. So I'm like, hey, um, could you give us like a little privacy? Could you maybe like go on back to your parents or something? And he just looks at me and says, shut up. Just straight shut up. I don't even know what to reply to this kid after that. So I'm a little ticked off, you know? I'm like, okay, you are being very disrespectful. Because he's 8 and I'm 14. And I say, can you please just give us some privacy and please not do it, like, back off a little bit. And he's like, I have a 14-year-old brother. I could beat you up. And um, so now I'm starting to get a little angry. Because not only is he not leaving, but he's also somewhat insulting me, saying that he can beat me up. Because, for one, I'm six years older than him. Bigger than him. I'm a small person, but I'm bigger than him. And I'm a black belt in Taekwondo. And he's just thinking that he could beat me up, and who knows why he's even over here with us. And then, so I tell him I'm a black belt, and he's like, I'm not afraid of you. I'm like, okay, because that's a normal response from people. And I'm not just going to go use that on him and, and actually do anything to him, because that would not be a good idea. So I still just keep my cool, and we get onto the topic of great-grandfathers. I'm not sure how we got onto this topic. But we come about great-grandfathers, because he was trying to brag to me that his great-grandfather was in, and I quote, the Civil War II. His great-grandfather was in the Civil War II of the United States. I really did not know what to say to that. My cousins, my cousins started cracking up, and this kid like didn't know why we were laughing, and so I just calmly say, "I'm like the Civil War too. Can I've never heard of that. Can you explain that to me?" And again, he goes, "Shut up." So I really, this is just a weird situation for me to be in. A little kid telling me about the Civil War too, and so. I I start joking around with him. I honestly lost it and just start joking around with him. And I say, uh, please tell me about the Civil War too. I, I want to hear about this. Never learned about this in history. And he's shut up. And I keep I keep pushing. I keep asking him about it. And he's like, I don't know. Maybe it was it was World War Two or the Civil War Two. I don't know. And this kid just was just pushing it and pushing it. So finally, I just ignored him as best I could and walked away and played some more frisbee. But that's my little story for the day. Um, yeah. So that's what my week consisted of. All I need to do now is go and plant these potatoes. I'm probably going to get some sort of roof on here just because it'll look nicer. But for this episode, I think is more or less complete. Thanks guys for watching. You've been watching SK, in case you didn't know. In case you just, like, magically got teleported into your chair by me. I don't know. I need to go to cross country and like why I didn't eat that potato. Why did y'all ingest that? I need to go to cross country and like very soon. So again, I say goodbye guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.